currently Wednesday and it's rainy outside in LA, which is a shame, but that's okay. Um, today I am doing a bit of exploring around LA. I have a bit of free time today, so um, we'll see what I get up to. Um, this afternoon though, I do have a tour booked. It's a TMZ big bus tour, which I am super excited about. Um, my friend recommended it. Um, and it's just super cringy, which I love. Um, so it's like a tour around Hollywood and you kind of like hope to see celebrities while you're on the bus. Um, so I'm super excited for that. Um, I honestly just kind of wanted to have a look around Hollywood. And um, so that'll be really, really good. It's only for like an hour, an hour and a half. Um, and I just get to sit on a bus and have a look around and explore LA. So I'm really excited for that. Um, in the morning, it is currently, I think, 9.30, so I'm going to go grab some breakfast, um, which will be good. I kind of want to go to a bakery, so yeah. Um, I got a recommendation from the guy who I shared my Uber with yesterday. Um, so good. I have to say this. I picked the Uber pool option yesterday from um, Universal Studios. Um, so I could save some money, but honestly, it's the best way to talk to people and get to know locals and things like that. So, um, yeah, and it was in a Tesla, this, this, um, Uber was a Tesla, which was wild. Um, and the driver was so very, very nice. Um, but yeah, I met this filmmaker from who was working at Universal Studios. Super cool. And he gave me all these recommendations of places to go around LA. Um, and he recommended this museum. So I might go there or I might just have a look around um, Hollywood, maybe go to the Grove. We'll see how I'm feeling and how we're going for timing. So yeah, super duper excited. Not really sure what I'm gonna do for dinner either yet. Um, but yeah, we'll see where the day takes me. Um, but I'll show you me getting ready for a day in LA. Um, so I'm finally out of the hotel. You can see I'm really going for a brown look today. Um, I'm unplanned. Um, even the umbrella's marching. <laughs> Love it. Um, it is super rainy and cold. Oh my gosh. Yesterday was so lucky that it was sunny at Universal Studios um, because today it is disgusting. It is like 10 degrees um, and it's raining. So it's a good day to go to the museum. I think I'm gonna take the the um, guy's recommendation. I'm gonna to go to the museum and then I'm gonna go on the tour. I really hope that um, that it's not gonna be raining on the tour because I've wanted to sit at the top of the bus, you know, where it's like open air, but that's okay. Never mind. Um, I'm just gonna grab some breakfast now um, from a bakery. Let's hope it's good. And then I might Uber it to the museum. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a overcast, miserable day, but let's try and not make it miserable, I guess. Um, there are so many things though in the US that I am still trying to like figure out. Like, first of all, you don't, oh no, I need to press the button. <laughs> I forget to press the button because some of them you have to press the button, but some of them you don't. Also, I hate that the crosswalks um, don't have audio. Um, so like what happens if you're deaf and like I rely on the audio, you know, like when you're on your phone and things like that It just has a red hand that turns white. I'll show it doesn't you really make a sound So it's like hard to know When to go because you just have to be watching really closely um, But yeah, let's see what we get up to today Another thing I need to address, okay, this is a medium, okay? It's like almost the size of my head and this is a medium and I haven't finished it and I got it at like 10 a.m. and it's now 12.30, like I can't finish. Like I thought that like maybe I had lost my appetite this trip because 
I wasn't finishing my food. I wasn't finishing my drinks. But then it kind of like hit me yesterday that I was like, no, it's not me. Like the serving sizes here are just really, really large. Cause like I was just eating all this food and I was like, I can't even finish my food. And that's so unlike me. But then I remembered <laughs> everything is just like double the size. I just um, went to the Jeffrey Deitch, Deitch, I don't know how to say it, um, museum and oh my gosh, to say it was an experience is an understatement, like I'm serious, it was incredible, it was about living art um, and it used AI to generate um, art. Essentially what they did is took public data sets of um, landscapes from LA um, and other data and then turn them into art essentially. Which is so interesting because like, you would think traditionally that AI is not creative. And we talked about this at the Stanford course and it's such an interesting point, can AI be creative? And I think at that museum, it really made me realize that it can be we can use it for creative things and oh it was just so thought provoking um one three of the pa three of the artworks were um based on la winds one of them about the ocean data and other about like the physical landscapes like um, the mountains and the rivers um, and then there was one about human emotions and they had an EEG um, data from someone's brain and they measured the the different parts of the brain that were kind of sparking the neurons and they created an artwork based on three different emotions positive negative and meditative and gosh it really just bends your mind doesn't it <laughs> um, and it really made me think about it and definitely as a biomedical engineer I think it's just awesome because I've never really seen that kind of like technology meets art um, so it really did blow my mind and was awesome but I'm on my way now to the TMZ tour I'm just gonna go for a walk it is now sunny um, super glad so it'll be nice for the tour I can sit on the top of the bus um, but I'll take you guys there